Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. So as you know, there are many different versions of Microsoft Excel. Right now, we're using Excel 2010, although you may have 2007 or even 2003. There are plenty of differences between them. The ribbon is the latest edition from 2007 and was improved a little bit in 2010. But the only things you need to worry about, really, are what to do if you have an early version or what to do if you have a later version. So if you have the most recent version of Microsoft Excel 2010, you will want to save that file both as a .xlsx, which is the most recent version, or you can save as a previous version, which is now 97 through 2003, which is a .xls extension. That way, anyone who has an older version of Excel can still read your file. There's a detailed breakdown of all the differences between the versions of Excel, which can be found by pressing the F1 key to bring up Excel Help, and then going to the Table of Contents, and clicking on the File Version and Compatibility section. You can see a list of all the different formats that are supported in Excel. Here's what each of the extensions mean. You can also click here for the full breakdown of what to do in compatibility mode, how to check for compatibility, what is supported, which features are supported in the newer versions that are not supported in previous versions. So if you really want to know in depth what the differences are, this is a great place to look. However, all you need to know really is that there are new formatting templates, new tables, and new charts, which will not be supported in previous versions of Excel. So by default, whenever you save a file in Excel 2010, it saves it as a .xlsx. But as a good practice, save it as well as a save as, or F12 on the keyboard, and save it as a .xls for anyone who does not have the latest version of Microsoft Excel. And that's all you need to know about file compatibility in Microsoft Excel.